Hello and welcome to Winging It. So I've got some gameplay here from a recent tournament game I had from the Wingspan Tournament Discord. Uh, there's a link for that in the description if you want to come join us and take part in some of our tournaments. So this game was against Loris in the Rockhopper Penguin Clash which is a single elimination knockout tournament that we started recently on the server. Um, and it was quite an interesting game, we both scored quite highly um, but the engine that my opponent built up in the grasslands um, was was super strong. They had the killdeer and the raven, um, as well as some tucking birds as well. So um, they were able to score a lot of points. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd show um, you know how to approach playing against something like that, um, and how you can really try and maximise your own score potential even when your opponent has some really strong birds. Um, now you'll see from the starting hand I had, uh, I had some pretty strong birds as well, so I've got both the Tauhi and the Hummingbird, which are both A tier birds um, that I'm going to look to get down in this grass, and so you know, suddenly whenever I'm laying eggs I'm getting those three eggs, uh, but I'm also getting two food as well. Um, and then I had the Grackle as well, and the Snipe, so those are both really strong birds, and then the Ring-billed Girl appeared in the tray, so uh, I snatched that up as well, so I can look to build a really nice um, food and egg engine in the grasslands um, but also I can get some nice tucking powers in that wetlands so I'm still going to be scoring points when I draw cards as well which is always nice. Um, I have got a couple of these cooperative powers so uh, obviously the snipe gives cards to everyone um, and the hummingbird is giving food to everyone so I do need to be a little bit careful there that I'm not uh, giving too many things to my opponent um, but yeah, you'll see that it's just so strong um, that I'm able to get so much food and so many eggs um, to get four birds down. Uh, my opponent can only reach three for this end of round goal, so that helps me snatch this end of round goal. And yeah, it's always nice when you can do that because that's already a three point um, sort of head start you get on your opponent, um, and that's so strong to have. So yeah, going into the second round, I've got really nice setup in the in the wetlands. Um, and I get some nice draws there, so the golden eye certainly, um, that's the one I'm looking at keeping. And then I get another tucking power and another hummingbird from the deck. So yeah, some really nice draws. Um, I'm a little bit hesitant about playing that hummingbird, you know, for the reasons I said before. I don't really want to be giving too many things to my opponent. Um, and you'll see actually on that turn, that was when they got the kill deer down. Um, so in the tournament discord we use house rules, which means that the Killdeer and the Franklin Skull and the two Ravens can't be played in round one so he got it down at the earliest opportunity uh, in this start of round two so yeah I'm really having to think a little bit about my approach here um, I don't really want to be giving too much food to my opponent particularly when they have the Killdeer because uh, that just means you know the more food I give them that's the less turns they have to spend in their forest which means more turns they can spend laying eggs and getting more cards um, so yeah I'm just being a little bit mindful there but obviously seeing the kill deer and knowing I've got the golden eye in my hand um, that's something I'll definitely look to get down you know I think a good um, you know rule to follow is whenever you see your opponent um, pick up and play these these strong grass and birds is to try and get a pink power because you know you're going to get lots of eggs um, another thing in that turn the dark eyed junker appeared in the tray um, and that is such a strong bird that goes so nicely with the kill deer that um, I kind of had to deny it you know I was already planning on drawing cards um, and I didn't have a whole lot of egg space anyway, so I wasn't really going to lay eggs. Um, so I did pick up the Junko. Uh, it was mainly just as a denial to stop my opponent getting it, but I did think about it and realised that actually I have quite a good card source in the wetlands, so I could afford to you know, have something in the grasslands that tucks cards. Um, I was planning on originally going Grackle, but I think Junko works better in this situation because I'm not going to be short of eggs. You see I'm already you know, mostly filling up these spots. Um, and actually if the Junko gives me food it means I can afford to skip that hummingbird a few more times and as I said that's going to avoid giving too much food to my opponent which yeah is kind of critical when you know that they've got such good access to eggs and cards you know you don't want to be giving them that that missing piece of the puzzle that is going to help them score a lot of points um, so yeah I'm I'm liking what I've got set up here um, you know if I can get that golden eye down as soon as possible uh, they fought those four cavity nest spaces on the tree swallow uh, are going to come in in handy as well with that golden eye um, 
and it also does meet my bonus card so you see I just flashed over it there the fishery manager um, unfortunately not got any fish birds down yet but yeah if I can get that gold nine that gets me halfway there so um, I'll definitely be saving that last wetland spot in the hope that I can get another um, wetland bird that eats fish and at least get three points on that bonus card um, so yeah you see I'm just kind of running through that engine in the grasslands laying eggs um, I'm able to absolutely smash that end of round goal um, unfortunately the Canada goose appears um, that would have been perfect for me you know I'm going to be getting all of these seeds from the Junko so if I could have turned those into more tuck cards that would have been nice uh, but you know as I did with the Junko you know my opponent jumps all over that goose and uh, it's going to stop me having it so it works both ways and yeah it wasn't it wasn't too frustrating because I, I knew I could still use that food for, for better use playing birds anyway so you see I did go hummingbird um, so for me this was kind of a couple of reasons one I needed that fourth grassland bird so just to at least get extra eggs uh, you know beforehand I was only getting three eggs a turn which now I can get four um, and yeah it just gives me options you know I can choose to activate those hummingbirds I don't have to so um, you know I really am looking to get this golden eye down as soon as possible that I think actually if I give my opponent maybe one extra food from that second hummingbird um, it's not that big of a deal um, but also I think in situations like this you know if I see my opponent play two hummingbirds um, I'm gonna lean away from my forest because in my head I'm thinking okay they're gonna give me free food for quite a lot of turns um, and then if you skip those powers and do give them free food then they can really end up missing out so it's always something to bear in mind um, but you see my opponent did actually get a couple of birds down uh, in their forest so yeah they've got something really strong there they can get four food a turn plus the cash on their nut hatch as well so yeah they're they're looking strong for this end of round goal as well because uh, unfortunately i don't have any forest birds uh, i've not managed to really pick up any good ones from the deck um, you know i have got a nice uh, engine in the in the wetlands as well so you know i can draw three cards i'll get another one from the snipe um, and see another couple of cards from the tuck so in theory I should be able to pick up a lot of cards and see a lot of good ones uh, <laughs> did draw the raven felt a little bit late there um, you know I've already got uh, a strong enough food source so I did end up tucking the the raven in the end unfortunately that revealed the second raven um, which obviously my opponent is going to jump all over um, and yeah they've already got the food for it so for them seeing that it's a no-brainer really um, they needed the food source and yeah they go they go all over that and uh, they'll look to get that down the next turn so it was a bit frustrating um, you know at the time I kind of knew I was ahead at this point um, I, I really had a strong situation in those end of round goals I was getting a lot of tuck cards a lot of eggs um, and yeah basically every turn I was scoring points which is always a nice position to be in um, but I knew that they were going to be able to score a lot of points in this last round so um, yeah I was a bit worried that this lead wasn't going to be enough but um, yeah. Uh, the other frustrating thing obviously I still didn't really manage to get a good forest bird down um, I could I think have looked to play the house finch um, but it just wasn't really you know the, it, it didn't feel worth it for the points for me um, so I declined to and instead um, thought I'd spend the, the turn laying eggs and you'll see I did get a second uh, pink power so I've got that other set in my hand um, now ordinarily I probably wouldn't look to play that because I was saving that spot for another fishery manager bird um, but I did luckily get the fish crow so that could go in any habitat um, so I think at this point you know I was really prioritizing get that other set down because I know my opponent is going to lay eggs a lot in this last round um, and if I can make sure I'm getting two eggs every time they do that then it really just minimizes the damage um, you know, obviously they've managed to play that goose that they picked up earlier so again that was a card like with the Junko um, it was just a denial but actually with the cards that they drew as well um, it worked out to be a really strong card for them to play so um, I think they were looking at sort of eight or nine points running this engine uh, which is just so strong but you know if I can get a couple of points at least whenever they do that like I said it does sort of uh, minimize the damage a little bit there so yeah there was a little bit of egg management I had to do here so you know I've only got two egg spaces left um, I've had to make sure that they are on the right nests so I do have a ground nest spot and a cavity nest spot available um, and yeah when I'm playing birds I am trying to clear up some of those spaces just in anticipation that uh, I'm gonna fill those up again pretty quickly with those pink powers um, and yeah really at this point I'm just trying to 
you know, eke out as many points as I can so I get the fish crow down. That does help the fishery manager. Um, and then I have got two seeds as well from my grassland activation, which allow allows me to get the crossbill, which again is going to help with this end of round, but uh, it just frees up some egg spaces. So it's a six point play in itself, and that's never terrible for that last round. Um, and yeah, I can still I can still lay eggs here. I'll get four eggs plus a tuck card, um, so that's five points, which again is not awful. Um, and bearing in mind that you know I'm going to get a couple of free eggs there uh, from my opponent, which is always nice. Um, so yeah, I was a little bit sweaty here, um, just you know hoping that my opponent didn't score too many points in that last round because, like I said, I did I did know I was ahead um, at least going into the start of that final round. Um, but they had they they got so many points in the last round that uh, you know I was worried that they'd managed to catch up. I was pretty close across most of the categories, um, but luckily just in the end, just about had enough. Um, just about had enough points there to uh, to sneak a two point victory. Um, and really, I think it probably came down to those end of round goals. So you see, um, you know, if you look just at bird points and bonus card points combined, you know, we were pretty neck and neck there. Um, and even looking at eggs um, and tuck cards, it was it was very close. So really, I think it did come down to being able to steal those end of round goals. And you know, I say this time and time again, but when you are playing one v one, those end of round goals are so important because you know every point that you get is a point that your opponent isn't getting. So yeah, it, you get the double whammy effect um, of gaining points while also taking them away from your opponent. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching that. Um, it was certainly a stressful game on my end, just particularly in that last round, but um, yeah, I think this just goes to show that if you do play the right cards um, and build up a nice engine and equally get a couple of those pink egg laying powers, um, you know, you can be even the strongest of Crossland's engines. So yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.